Welcome back, this is Retro Game Coders and this is Commodore 64 Electronics Part 3. In this video we're going to look at reading the joystick and analog input. Let's start with just reading the joystick. All you have to do is read the joystick memory address at 56320 or 56321. So this little basic program will read the joystick memory address and then output it to screen using print. And as you can see, there's a number for each direction and the fire button. 127 is no movement and then it's adjusted accordingly depending on which movement you make. But there's two joysticks, there's two control ports. So here's a more complex basic program that reads both addresses. And as you can see, joystick one is on 56321 and joystick two is on 56320. So if I move joystick one or joystick two, we will get both readings and they're read independently. But that's not all you can do with these control ports. The control port actually has a connection to the SID chip analog digital converter. And traditionally that was for a game paddle, but we can also use it to read any analog input. So if we connect five volts and ground, and then a data pin to the X and Y potentiometers, another pin to read fire or the switch, we can actually read analog input at five 4297 and 54298. Those will give a value between 0 and 255. So rather than a direction, it gives you a range and that allows you to use a mouse, a paddle or an analog joystick. And as you can see, we get a value between 0 and 255. 